T minus 15. T minus 10. happening in rapid succession. Back chill started. First will be that engine chill on the second stage and back engine, which we just heard. And then we'll have Miko or main engine cutoff where the nine engines on the first stage will cut off ahead of the first and second stages. We'll be separating from one another. Then the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite and continue to carry oh. crew 10 to orbit while the first stage begins its journey back to Earth. Now we're just two minutes into today's flight. The vehicle is traveling just under 4,000 miles per hour. We're just about 20 seconds away from those events that Anna just mentioned. Uh, the nine Merlin engines will shut down here in just about 10 seconds for Miko. Stage separation and SES-1. Main engine cutoff. <laughs> Dragon, Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. Great call outs and incredible views there on your left hand screen. On your left hand screen, you can see a view from stage one. <laughs> and an extremely excited crowd here in Hawthorne. Awesome views of that boost back burn on the first stage, as well as the MVAC engine igniting on the second stage. Great views there. Now the booster is in its boost back burn. This is the first of three burns as it makes its way back down to Earth. This will last about 45 seconds. And the crew, 10 crew, is still on board Dragon attached to Falcon 9's second stage, which you can see there on your right hand screen. And we're now at three minutes and 20 seconds into today's flight. The vehicle is traveling about 6,500 miles per hour. And they are on their way to the space station. And we did have that confirmation um, coming up of the boost back shutdown. And then coming up in at the T plus six minute mark. Uh, coming, And there we have our first images of the crew inside the Dragon spacecraft as they make their way into orbit. The crew Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Continuing to get good call outs. SpaceX, Dragon, copy nominal. Stage two it continues to be on power with, uh, and it's firing until we get to that second stage engine cutoff around the nine minute mark of flight, about five minutes of flight to go before Dragon will be flying free. Some cool views there on your left hand screen. That's the first stage booster as it's making its way back down to Earth. This is a uh, ground tracking camera getting these awesome views. <laughs> and on the right hand side of your screen, you can see that lone Merlin vacuum engine of the second stage. We're continuing to get good performance on the second stage. 
and the cruise G loads will dip right when we hit the separation events, and it's going to continue to build up until then. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. SpaceX Dragon, copy nominal. We're now at five minutes into today's flight of, with a liftoff at 7.03 p.m. Pacific, 4.03 uh, p.m. Eastern, 4.03 p.m. Pacific, continuing to get good call outs as stage one makes its way back to Earth and stage two continues to fire propelling Dragon into orbit. If you're just now joining us, the four members of Crew 10 launched from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And they're currently on board Dragon, still attached to Falcon 9's second stage, which you're seeing there on your right-hand screen, on your left-hand screen. The first stage vehicle is making its way back down to Earth. It already completed the first of three burns as the boost back burn. And the next event coming up for that vehicle is going to be the entry burn. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Great call-outs there. That entry burn is coming up. SpaceX Dragon, copy nominal. That entry burn is coming up here in just under 20 seconds. We'll reignite three of those nine Merlin 1D engines to help slow the vehicle down as it makes its way back into the Earth's atmosphere. We're now just over six minutes into today's flight as Dragon and the second stage continue traveling at over 12,000 miles per hour, making their way into orbit and on the way to the International Space Station. there we just saw on the screen it was very quick but we had the entry burn which we got some cool views of that from the ground which is awesome now the next event coming up will be the landing burn for the first stage that's coming up here in about 30 seconds dragon spacex nominal trajectory again great call outs for SpaceX dragon copy nominal confirmation there from the crew as they continue to make their way into orbit. Now seven minutes into today's flight, the first stage making its way back down to Earth and the second stage continuing to fire. This is an awesome view. Let's see if we can see the center engine relight for that landing burn here in a few seconds. There's that landing burn. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on landing zone one. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd here is excited to see Falcon 9 touchdown from landing zone one. <laughs> and now that the first stage has made its way back to Earth, we're about a minute away from the second engine cutoff, which we're expecting around the nine minute mark of today's flight. We're continuing to get good call outs and uh, Dragon and all of the systems on the vehicle are performing as expected. Just over eight minutes into today's flight, traveling more than 21,000 miles per hour. Terminal got it. Hearing good call outs. We're about 30 seconds away from that second engine cutoff. And then shortly after that, about a minute or so later, we will have uh, orbital insertion. SpaceX Dragon, Shannon. SpaceX copy, Shannon. And that call out there for Shannon, and that is the call out for Shannon, Ireland, which is the final abort stage for the second stage off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for a second engine cutoff. And back shut down. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. <laughs> and there we heard Dragon <laughs> There we heard confirmation. Walk escape of system disarmed. Good confirmation of orbital insertion. Crew 10 is now well on their way to the International Space Station following a nine and a half minute flight uphill. Now, 
The second stage is preparing for dragon separation here, which should happen uh, shortly, in about 10, 15 seconds is what we're expecting. And we're preparing for stabilizing the second stage so that we can have a smooth separation. And there you can see on the left-hand side of your screen. <laughs> wild. <laughs> there, on your screen, you can see that dragon separation, that second stage making its way, and dragon is now flying free. Ten minutes into today's fight, that was about a minute after we had that second inch in cutoff and orbital insertion. And it looks like a good separation, good rates. Dragon now flying free. There on the right hand <laughs> side of your screen, you can see some first images of Crew 10 inside the Dragon Endurance spacecraft as they're now successfully in orbit. Dragon, SpaceX, Chief Engineer on Countdown 1. On behalf of the entire Falcon team, we thank you for flying with Falcon and wish you a great mission. Over to LD. It was an honor flying with you this evening. We wish you well on your journey and give Crew 9 our best. Thank you for flying SpaceX. SpaceX Dragon, this is Crew 10 Commander Anne McLean. Thank you to all of the teams from across the world who contributed to the launch today. Space flight is tough, but humans are tougher. Days like today are made possible only when people choose to do the harder right over the easier wrong. Build relationships, choose cooperation, and believe in the inherent goodness of all people across the world. To my family and friends, without you, I would not be here. Explore boldly, live gracefully, go Crew 10. Now over to pilot the Polaris. Again, we are not the first humans to get to orbit, and we wouldn't be here without the bravery and hard work of those who have paved the way for human spaceflight. We now get the unique perspective of Earth without borders and get to revel in the connectedness of humanity. I would be remiss to not once again acknowledge those who helped me get here to this wonderful view and this perspective, to the teachers, coaches, fellow officers, fellow teammates, Raptor Nation, to my friends and family that encouraged my dreams from the start, thank you. I wouldn't be here without you.